we are in the red zone. Solo red zone. The troll is here. Wow. Yes! Dragon! Where's his dragon bow? Hey guys, in this episode, we are going to try to get the maximum amount of chests and we're going to try to upgrade as many of those chests to level two as possible. This requires some leather strip farming. There we go. We already got one leather strip, which is better than no leather strip. Oh no. Dang it. I'm not doing very well here. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, we are going for leather strips so that we can get some level two chests. I already have some iron and some planks. We might have to farm some more wood at some point. I'm just gonna reset this zone. We got two chests. I don't know where the other chest is. So we'll just go back in. All right, I see another chest in here. The Berman. Is it just me or is this zone look very similar to the last zone? Two chest, archer. Ooh, three leather strips. What? That's awesome. That is great. That is what we needed. Another leather strip. I do not normally get this lucky on the leather strips. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave because that was great. We're just gonna reset it, come back in and get some more leather strips be really nice if we got let's see we need a gold honestly i'm i would be really happy with 10 leather strips i don't usually get them that quickly so we go in here there we go we got a chest over here and we're gonna see what we have over here another leather strip guys this is unreal. I never get this many leather strips when I do leather strip runs. That's why I hate it so much. Oh, another one. This is crazy. You know what? I'm going to go home. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go until my streak is done. I, I have gotten like six chests with leather strips in them or something crazy like that or five chests. Anyways, it's a lot. It's a lot of chests of leather strips. And so we're just gonna keep going until we stop getting a lot of leather strips. All right, I'm gonna kill this guy. Okay, finally, that was a lot of work for one chest. But what do we get? <laughs> Another, this is amazing. I'll farm all night long if I have to. This is amazing. I am having to work really hard for these chests though. Not sure what that's about. All right, so you can pass this guy. Gonna kill this guy. Gonna snipe that guy. Oh my gosh, why are there so many enemies by these chests? Two leather strips. I cannot believe this. Do you guys ever get this lucky? I've never gotten this many back to back over and over and over again leather strips so until the luck stops we're gonna keep going because you know you can always use more leather strips all right you're dead all right let's see let's see if we get the leather strip okay no leather strip that you know which is normal, but not for this evening. This evening, I've been getting so many leather strips that I'm starting to get used to it. So we'll see what happens next. We're gonna go, we'll open one more chest. If it's not a leather strip, we're gonna go home. We're gonna say the luck is over. And let's see, two chests. Okay, we're gonna open both of these chests. Okay, we got this one open. 
All right, no leather strip, so I would go home, but I'm gonna go ahead and go here too. I can't believe I didn't aggro that guy. It's kind of nice. No leather strips. All right, luck is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the luck has run out. We're gonna go home and we're going to work on upgrading chests, so. Okay, we're home. And the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna build a few small chests. Let's see, oh, only can build one. Boom. Okay, that's a little sad. Let's see where we're at. So, we're gonna build it right here. Okay, so you can see here that because I hit district level 69, which is the most important district level for a free to play player, I can get up to 55 chests. And I really need to hit that level because I want uh, to, I just, the more chests, the harder it is for people to raid you. So that's a lot of chests to open. That's a lot of lock picks to open for just one little base. Uh, and so, and then we have a lot of leather strips. So let's go over here and upgrade this chest. Right now I'm using it for doing giant's treasure. And, and so here we go. We got all of our stuff. We got lots more room. Again, if someone wants to raid it, now they're going to have to use copper uh, or money to open that chest. So that is really helpful. Let's go ahead and open this or upgrade this chest. We need more nails. All right. Let's go, let's go get some nails. We've got some in our engineering table. We've been saving for this occasion. Upgrade. Boom. All right. Look at all that room. It's 10 extra slots. I love it. I love it. Okay. I am going to move this guy over here because I like having chests here. Okay. We need some planks. Let's go get some planks. All right. Top that off. Grab these extra planks. And upgrade. Perfect. Okay, so now I have two more level two chests right here. I've got a level two chest up there. This is gonna make, again, every time you place a chest and every time you upgrade a chest, you make your base permanently better. It makes it permanently harder for someone to raid from you. No one can ever take those leather strips. No one can ever take those nails from me. And so these are mine forever. And so my base is getting stronger. I could put two chests right here actually, but okay, let's put these nails away. Actually put these right here. You can see we have at least seven leather strips left. I don't know if I have some others hidden throughout my base, but at least seven in there, so that is substantial. All right, I'm gonna put that stuff away for now. Uh, let's see, what do we need to do? So, Giant's Treasure is in 15 minutes and 14 minutes, so let's go to the green zone. And this time, instead of opening chests, we're gonna clear the green zone so we can get a bunch of wood and make a bunch of level one uh, chests. Hopefully, I mean, honestly, if we do a really good job in one trip to the green zone, we may be able to make the rest of our level one chest uh, because it's just that easy. So we're gonna switch over here to the healer, which is the best class for this. And we need to get ourselves enough resources to build a spear. Just gonna hit this. All right, build a spear. And actually, I am going to switch over to the Sorcerer, just because it allows me to one-shot enemies uh, with that spear. We can switch back to the healer if we need some healing, but being able to one-shot them like that is just so nice. So let's, let's keep going. Okay, there we go. I think we killed all of the enemies 
And so now we're just going to loot the chest and clear out the zone. Okay, so we ran out of time, uh, you know, <laughs> normally I'd bring everything and also I'd normally bring a better, a, a bigger backpack, but uh, we have run out of time. The Druids event and the Giants event have already spawned and so, uh, and we got quite a bit of wood, you know, we definitely, we got a lot, so it was a, it was a good run. If I had a bigger backpack and I had more time, I would finish clearing out the zone, but it's enough. So we're gonna grab our gear. Wow, I totally just used that. All right, put all, there we go. So that's all the stuff we have. We're gonna come and use it right after we do this event. And then we're gonna use that stuff, build a bunch of chests, do a raid. We got a lot of stuff kind of plan to make this a fun episode so we're gonna start traveling I'm gonna switch over to the rogue two getting to the rogue three I mean I guess I actually I have a bunch of stuff at home that I'm gonna put on there so hopefully we'll get another thousand or maybe even two thousand points uh, after this event okay so we are rogue two I'm gonna switch over to bandages here uh, I brought a backpack I normally don't bring a backpack even a level one backpack is just there's no point to bring in a backpack I'm not killing anyone so I'm not gonna get their stuff even if someone fights I don't usually actually I might run in but I, I haven't seen that in a while so um, the trick again I've told you guys is to show up uh, at least on this server is to show up right around the two minute mark I have seen uh, quite a few more players lately, um, but I've noticed that maybe they're doing the same thing that I'm doing. They're kind of scared, so I kind of get there a little bit before them, and they kind of leave me alone. Obviously, if they went for it, I, I would run away. I'm in no way to fight, you know, like, even with a poison bow, it would be very difficult to really win a fight in this context. And of course, anytime you fight, you're, you run the risk of running into a family and a solo player is just not gonna get anywhere there. So, it's going okay. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna scoot down just a little bit. I like to watch this entrance because if I see that, you know, a few red people show up, then I know to run the other way. Okay, here we are. So we're at eight seconds left. Honestly, I'm feeling really good about this. I don't think anyone's in the zone. I haven't experienced any lag spikes. I think this is pretty safe to say it's gonna be ours. Obviously, we're still gonna be cautious, but I think it's pretty safe to say we're gonna get this one. Boom, oh wow, that's, getting a gray cutter is awesome. Okay, looking good, perfect flawless didn't even get hit by the fire i often get hit by the fire just because i don't have perfect timing okay there we go so now we're going to go home we're going to gather up a bunch of stuff to go give to the altar see if we can't uh oh no way we shouldn't do that we should not do that i totally forgot that the new update is going to give us a bunch of new points and the update should come out tomorrow so let me show you guys what i've been kind of accumulating but i'm actually gonna wait until the update to to turn it in and see what kind of points we get okay so you see you know this oh that's right i did this with uh hell's envoy uh if you guys watched that episode i killed hell's envoy uh with these items let me go over here to where my, okay, this is where most of my stuff is, you know? This is a lot of points right here. You know, if you think about it, like, 
Let's take these items and put it over here. Make it look make it look even more impressive. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! Let's do this. Okay. So I can't do it. I can't do it. I keep making mistakes. Okay, so this is a lot of points. That's that's a lot of points. So uh, but I'm going to wait because when the next update comes out every single time I donate, I have a chance of getting up to 40% more points. So we're going to wait and try this out. And I just had this idea. I'm pretty sure the update is going to come out tomorrow. So I'm actually going to uh, cut this episode early or I'm going to combine it with tomorrow. Uh, and when the update comes out, we'll donate all these points and then we'll get all those extra points and hopefully we'll work towards i mean i really want to get to rogue three that's gonna make doing uh the sanctum and the forge a lot faster uh and we'll break those walls in the raid and kill those three players it should be a really good episode but we'll see what happens tomorrow all right guys the update is out we're gonna just hit take all with this massive amount of stuff and that's it okay we're gonna go donate all of this, see how many points we can get. Okay, here we go. We're here at the altar and we're gonna select Rogue 3, select. Now, I don't know, we're gonna find out how much this bonus of 10,000 points is gonna give us. So this is usually worth 85, right? Donate. Oh wait, I didn't even pay attention, all right. All right, so that's worth 50. Okay, I'm not getting any bonuses right now. It's worth 100 or 75. Wow, I'm not getting any bonuses. What's happened? Okay, so this should be worth 100. Okay, got a 40 point bonus. This is 150. Okay, so most of the time it doesn't give anything, I guess. Which is a little sad, but... Okay, so that's the points. 80. I didn't count everything. All right, let's count everything. So we got 4125, 4125, 4125, 4125. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 4125, so this is 375. Nothing. Wow. This is a little sad. Okay. 500. So this is 325. Nothing. I'm pretty disappointed by that. So I. I mean. Whatever, it's the point. It's not any less points. I hope. They did change the Freya staff. If they change something else that is important, then that's gonna really suck. But that's sad. I thought that was gonna be more. Which I guess it's fine. Honestly, I shouldn't have gotten that excited. I don't know. Ah, that's dumb. All right, well, let's just donate these other items. Okay, here we go. Donating like 200 points ish, and we got 40. All right, this is dumb. All right, I'm, I mean, it's a nice little bonus, it's great, but if they nerfed the giving of I think it nerfed the giving of pickaxes, which is really dumb. Okay, said goodbye to that guy, and now we're gonna go, we're gonna build a bunch of level one chests. And we're gonna kind of get ready to do some raid. It, you know, normally raiding is, you know, kind of lame right now, as you guys saw in the last episode, but because of the truce, just not a lot of people. But I think, you know, a new update just came out. There's probably some people that are like, oh, let's try it. And maybe there'll be some some more diversity of people on. I doubt it, but you know, it's worth it's worth a shot. So first we're gonna go and we're gonna build a ton of these. Wait, how many actually do we need? We need 13, I think. Four, five, six, 13. Awesome, guys. This is so exciting. Getting 
Alright, we're almost there. Let's see. Put one there. And... Honestly, I kind of want some more inside. So I'm going to put some here. And we'll put one here. Boom! Guys, we just maxed out all of the chests that you can put in the game. The 55 chests is the maximum number of chests you can put in a game. And so we've got it. That's going to make our base uh, just, again, we're going to be able to diversify where stuff goes. If someone raids us and they're taking from one place, we can move it to another place. Uh, this is going to make us really tough to be able to kind of take our stuff. So um, now I want to start getting all of those chests to level two. And honestly, that's going to be a lot because let's see how many chests we have. Okay, so it looks like we have 25 chests that are upgraded and 30 chests that are still level one. So 30 chests means 120 nails, 120 leather strips, and a ton of planks. I mean, like 30 times 14, whatever that is. And we need quite a bit of iron, I guess 120. So we got a little ways to go. 120 iron is going to be easy. 120 nails, a little bit of grinding for, and, and working on my workbench for that. I'll go ahead and get my workbench going. But that would be really awesome if I could get to the point that I have all level two chests. That means someone who's pay to win coming in, they're not going to be able to use any of their level one lock picks. Uh, to raid my base, it's gonna make it feel. It's just gonna make it really nice when they open. They use a copper lockpick. It's still cheap for them, but because they're just spending money on it and they get a lot of them, but they're gonna be able to buy it. They're gonna open that chest and it's not gonna have anything good in it, and they're gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, I don't want to use all my level two lockpicks for this base." It's gonna really discourage people, and then free to play players are gonna never get anything good for me because they're gonna have to spend copper to get those lockpicks and I'm not gonna have anything good for them uh, that's worth it for them in my base. So we are making a huge step. We just gotta keep grinding for those. So maybe in a future episode, I'll, I'll grind for all of those, that, all of that iron and nails and, and mainly leather strips. I hate grinding for leather strips, but you guys, you know, we, we can do it. Okay, so now that we have all of those chests down, we're gonna do two raids. And while we're waiting for those raids to kind of commence, we're going to work on getting leather strips in the green zone. Maybe we'll go explore a few events if they pop up, but mostly we're going to be trying to get as many leather strips as we can and then also defending our base. And so I definitely need to move my PVP gear because I do not want, you know, right now being in a level one chest is kind of silly. Uh, but I haven't been raiding, so it's been fine. And so we're going to gear up. We're going to get ready for whenever whoever comes. And we're going to hopefully uh, kill them and get their gear. We'll see if because of this update, there's enough people on. Oh, there's a whole team right there. We're going to just go like this. And we're going to get out of there. So, sorry, I my kids needed to go to school, so I was kind of doing that but I'm back and we're gonna start a raid and I'm not even gonna mess with this I don't want to mess with the team and we're gonna look for hopefully someone will raid us all right we're gonna go back we're gonna get into our wow I really want to get into my PvP gear just in case you know someone shows up but I also realize that I don't want to lose any durability on my PvP gear, so. Okay, I really, I hate these guys. Right, let's see if I can sneak up on him. I can sneak up on him. Okay, he's dead. All right, let's go replace my PvP gear with this stuff. All right, uh, we're gonna go grab a few more uh, mushroom suit because don't wanna run out of that. Okay, let's go into the zone. Let's see if we can't land a kill. The update's pretty fresh, so there's a good chance there could be some people. And then we'll go get leather strips. I just don't, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll get my son to do leather strips, honestly. I, 
I really hate farming leather strips and he loves it so it, it works out well all right going in solo all right this is a pretty good spot honestly i should have brought an item ooh, ooh. y'all feel that lag spike i guess you probably wouldn't feel it but it's a little, little lag spike so we'll see if anyone's coming around oh i i bush camping is so nice like it really i really enjoy bush camping because you know it's like so such a good chance that you'll you know win but i also don't like bush camping because it's boring all right here we go looking around not really finding anyone I actually like this spot even better. Even though it's not at the bottom of the map, it just feels like it'd be easier to ambush someone. And one of the reasons I'm bush camping is because, you know, with the assassin, not only is the assassin really good at bush camping, and the assassin just got nerfed pretty significantly. I mean, the damage on the assassin is significantly decreased. Uh, that's going to make things a little bit more difficult, but I'm a level two class and there are a lot of people with level three classes in this uh, game or in this server, lots and lots of level three classes. This is one of the original servers. So it is just loaded with so many level three classes. And so if we're going to win, <laughs> we need to use the environment for our advantage. So uh, I do not like that. I haven't seen anyone yet. Okay. I'm going to go back down. There we go. Is this a bot? Why didn't I get stunned by his skill? And some shock traps. All right. I got a bot. I thought for sure with the update, but you know, we played I was doing something the other day. So a $200 bounty got put on my head and 30 people were trying to hunt me at the same time. And we st they couldn't find me. Like the algorithms are just a little weird right now. Okay, and we did not find anyone a raid. I don't want it to hit the 10 minute mark. I don't want to get, oh, actually I do want to get matched with the bot because in order for me to get Rogue 3, which is what I'm working towards, I need to break 10 walls. Okay, so we're gonna put on our level one backpack. All right, let's see who we got matched with. I bet you it is a bot. But honestly, unless it's multiple players, Davidson. Okay, so the main priority is to get all of that quest done because I don't do raiding a lot. I'm solo, I'm free to play, free to play, just it's, the option to raid is not really for free to play players unless you're a crazy grinder and honestly you're not going to get a lot it, raiding is is a pay to win activity it's super cheap to just buy a bunch of lock picks and axes um oh yes okay i think this is a bot um this is definitely looking good in this regard I'm just going to start breaking walls. Okay, looks like we got stuck at a place where we're, you know, basically it's it's level two walls from here on out. So, um, I'm tempted to get a level two hatchet just because, you know, I'm kind of curious what's in this base, but I'm also seeing quite a few level one chests here. So I'm going to go ahead and break two more walls just so that I can have the achievement or almost have the achievement. I'm going to break this wall just cause I'm curious what's inside this little spot nothing okay so we are going to build a hatchet 
And hopefully, okay, we're gonna try to build some lock picks. Oh, leather strips. I'm out of leather strips. No. Okay, let me see if in the axe I have any leather strips anywhere. Leather strips, already claimed those. Already claimed those. No leather strips. Ugh! It's so frustrating. Uh, let's see. Anything in my inbox that I don't know why I'd have leather strips in my inbox. Because it's usually... I mean, every once in a while tournaments give leather strips. But obviously you can see here that I do not have any leather strips. Which is frustrating. So... I'm not going to use this hatchet because I don't have any lockpicks. And we're just going to break two more walls and we're going to, you know, go try to kill two more players. And then we'll be done with the requirements of the rogue, which will be pretty exciting. Okay, honestly, it doesn't really matter what walls I break uh, on two fronts. For me, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to raid anything. But on the other hand, it's a bot, so he doesn't care either. Um, so here we go. All right, let's see if this worked. Rogue, yes! Okay, so we need to go kill two players. Hopefully they're not bots, hopefully they're real players. Uh, let's go get our PVP gear on and go back to the zone. I'll do leather strip farming later. Obviously I need a lot of leather strips uh, to upgrade my chest, but also if I ever am going to do any raiding, I need more leather strips, so. Oh man, so much grinding for to to do raiding. So honestly, if you're a free to play player, I don't even recommend doing a whole lot of raiding. It's fun to do it, you know, for the achievements, but other than that, um, really, you know, if you want to raid, the best thing to do is to uh, what is this? The cursor set. I did not know that. Okay, so if you want to raid, uh, the best thing to do is buy this little pack for 50 gold. It's so cheap, and look at all of that. I mean, this is worth so many leather strips, copper bars. Um, it is an amazing pack, um, and it's super cheap, 50, 50 gold pieces. So, you know, if you can spend money, then it really, they make it easy for you. And honestly, I like that part of the game, um, that raiding was more for the pay to win because when when there was no truce because they would come raid me and then we'd kill them and get their stuff which was just such a cool idea but it's not really the truce has kind of ruined that right now here we are we're in the red zone solo red zone the troll is here wow that is just so dumb. I'm getting frustrated a little bit earlier than I probably normally would just because I've been really frustrated at Frostborn lately because it's like impossible to match with people. It, it's so annoying that there, there could be a ton of people on ready to PvP, wanting to PvP, and Frostborn literally will not even show them to me. And that is absolutely infuriating. Okay, let's... Go Roman. Try to figure out who is around. If anyone's around. It's a bot. He sees me while I'm sneaking. <laughs> um, Alright, well, this is dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. infuriating ah so frustrated just want some solo pvp hey there's that leather strip i was needing okay well now that i've seen a bot chances are i'm not gonna see a person at least that's what i'm told so let's get out of here uh <laughs> devs nothing infuriates me more than when i'm trying to find PvP and I can't find it and team play that's mostly fixed uh, with the fire giant event but in solo play it has been 
so rough. I can't find it. I cannot find solo PvP anywhere in this game without having to search hours, and I hate it. It is driving me crazy. Please work on the algorithms. Ah, oh. it, mm. yeah, just. I don't mind it. I don't mind it being in the like. I don't. It doesn't have to be in the zones for me. All right, that's somewhat promising. See what kind of classes protector. All right, well, hmm. really like this bush. This wolf shadow guy. Ooh, ooh, they're gonna fight each other. Yes! Dragon, where's his dragon bow? No, no, I wanted his dragon bow. Dang it. Oh man, I did not. I wonder if I'd killed him faster if he wouldn't have had his, ah. Uh. Okay, well at least I got some PVP. All right. Yendral Gamer killed Wolf Shadow. I don't know why I dispelled. I still freak out when I PvP. I did not need to dispel, guys. Don't do what I did. If When he had first shot me, maybe dispelled. Then he couldn't have also hammered me. But I waited until the, the stun was over. Um, so, anyways, that was dumb. Now, Wolf Shadow might decide, hey, I'm gonna come back with better gear. Uh, but he and I were green together. So should I have saved Wolf Shadow and uh, helped him out? Yeah, I probably should have. That that would have been the, the kind thing to do. Honestly, I, I regret not helping Wolf Shadow. His poor guy came and he fought valiantly. Uh, Wolf Shadow, you fought valiantly, and I did not save you, mainly because you didn't know I was here. And that was kind of fun to be like, I'm in the shadows, you know? But, and it was pretty cool that I killed uh, Yin, Yindral Gamer because he's over here like, yes, I got a kill. And then it's like, nope, you're dead. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, at least it's funny for me. So I'm going to sit here for just a little bit longer. Ooh, crow. Is that Wolf Shadow? Let's see if this is Wolf Shadow. Nope. Just a random dude. Ah, I wasted that dispel. It's fine. I have dispels to waste. It's fine. But I want to get better. I want to just stop spamming buttons. So at least I'm in a zone that I know has real people. So we're going to we're gonna just sit here for a little while and um, see if Wolf Shadow comes back. See if Yindral Gamer comes back. Um, who knows? Maybe there'll be a new red guy, but this is at least, it's exciting when you get a zone that actually has real players. And I actually don't mind how the zones are set up right now, that sometimes you have real players and sometimes you have bots. That's fine, but they need, if they're going to keep it that way, they need to add an event that has solo PVP that, that you can guarantee it. Like in Giants or in Druid, that's going to be, you know, where it's at. So um yeah hopefully they'll add something like that okay i'm uh, feeling a little overconfident might get myself killed but i'm gonna just run around and see if i find anyone Are you trying to kill me, Wask? 
or are you just desperate? Because if you're trying to kill me, I will end you. All right, well, I don't know, guys. I don't think they're coming back. Well, that's it, guys. We did it. Uh, we, we are, I, I'm pretty sure, let me check, but I'm pretty sure we finished all the requirements of Rogue 3. So all we need is the 5,000. All we need is 5,000 points. So we're going to keep grinding for that. But we got all of our chests maxed out. We we got the 10 walls broke. We killed the 8 players. We did a ton of stuff. And and we are keep advancing in this game. And, and one thing I really want to work towards is getting those other strips and nails and stuff that I need to get the level 2 chests that I need. And if I can get those level 2 chests then I'm going to be feeling really good about this account because it's going to make it really hard to raid me. And right now there's a truce, so it doesn't really matter. But eventually raiding will get added back into the game somehow. And I want to be ready with an awesome account for it. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.